This year in 2024, I make two videos on Tencent. First was when Tencent was around 300, when the system flashed price trades above this level, that price had reversed out of this consolidation pattern and it's moving upwards. And so I did the first video here on Tencent. And the second video was that I did a like a continuation pattern on Tencent, highlighting the support at 360. And that was around June 17. You can refer to this screen cap here on exactly what I talk about. I say that we are waiting for a corrective pattern. So this is the corrective pattern and we are waiting for a support level at 360. And I talk about how to trade this on a short term basis. For example, if you were to use warrants. This video, I want to highlight that if you are using warrants to trade in the Tencent, then what would be the likely outcome of your trade? and as well as to look at the current price movement of Tencent and to do a bit of a simulation with warrants as well. This video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. To get a historical performance of the warrants, go to Macquarie page, which is under warrants.com.sg, under warrants to use and choose live metrics. Here I am, I've chosen the underlying and then chosen a core warrant because at the point of time I was bullish. And take a look at the historical performance of this core warrants here. I've chosen on July 24th, which was the time when Tencent, which is the underlying stocks, went into 360 region that was a support level that i was looking at and the warrants price at that point of time for this warrants was about four and a half cents right assuming that you were to sell let's say 68 days later of course uh you know for warrants it should be a short-term uh, trading product you shouldn't be holding for such a long period of time but assuming that you would want to sell when 10 cent has moved to your profit target then around the 30th of september the shares was trading at about $444 while the warrants went up by about 157.8%. The underlying went up about 22%. So you can see the leverage power of trading into the warrants. Now this will be a chart to let you see how correlated the warrants is with the underlying. Technically, Tencent has already broken out of a very important resistance level and that's around 410 marked by this blue line here. However, it's being resisted by the zone of a support turn resistance that's around 476 marked by this red line here. But um, one thing that was a major change was that Tencent has started to show a bullish trend with a formation of a high and then price subsequently making a higher high when it tried to break above the red color resistance zone. The higher low show a certain amount of strength in Tencent. So what I did was to predict a possible price level if price should start to retrace down to still form a valid higher low so that the uptrend is still valid and the calculated price would be around 410 and 431. So these are the two calculated price here. That's 410 and 431 as a possible support. If one is to buy into the core warrant, then what would be the likely outcome? Assuming that if price is to move up to 476 or if price is to move below, let's say the stop loss level of 390. Under the warrants tools, choose warrant calculator. So this is where you come to this page here, choose the underlying and that's Tencent and then choose the warrant. I'm choosing a core warrant. Under the warrant calculator, scroll down, you find that we can key in various prices. So assuming that we have entered at 431 and then the date will be today and we've exited uh, at 476, meaning that Tencent underlying moved up uh, and let's assuming that that happens one month later and let's take a look at the warrant prices. The underlying will move up about 10% whereas the warrant will be moving up about 41.9%. Now, assuming that instead of price moving up, the trade turns sour and it hit the stop loss level of 390, again, one month later, what happens to the warrant prices? It would be moving down 60%. So the underlying will move down 10% 
Warren price will be moving down 60%. The Warren calculator is a very useful tool for you to simulate what happened to the underlying and subsequently what will happen to the Warren prices. I find the Warren calculator especially useful before I put in the trade. As a disclaimer, trading into any instruments, including Warrens, is high risk. You need to know your risk profile. All right, it comes to the end of this video and I hope that you enjoy it. If there are any other trades you would want me to discuss, do let me know and I'll see you in my next video.